here welcome uh, i have created a new post as you can see and in this video let's work with taxonomies but first when you click here so to this one for example and yeah right now we just display the title and the content but let's design this a little bit for that i have opened the flowby.com again and i found this block template i'm going to use this one so just copy the code let's open the vs code and in the show antlers i'm going to paste this one well it'll change the modify but for now i'm going to save this and let's open the project if i refresh nothing is going to change because we need to also change the template so first i'm going to go to collections post go to first post and here on the template we have used the main template we need to change that to be posts slash show the same thing for all also post show and to this one post show right now if i come here and refresh nothing is changed again let's go back and let's go to post here edit the collection i'm going to scroll down and we have the template which is the post show and the layout is made i'm going to change the layout to be the layout and i'm going to save this now let's go here and refresh and yeah here we have now this kind of uh, design i'm going to remove uh, everything leave only this one here okay so i removed everything now here i'm going to display the author name so we have the headers for the image i'm going to remove this then we have this div and an anchor tag for the name which is not going to be an anchor tag i'm going to just say span okay also close the span and then remove the shref and here i'm going to display the name of the author so let's say double curly braces and if i open here the relationship so for the single post let's go back to this one for example we have the author we can say just author here but the author if i save and come here we don't see nothing here because the author is uh, an object so let's say author name and now refresh we have the name which is tony okay the other th other things i'm going to or yeah that's display remove this paragraph and just leave this one which is the the published date and here we can display the date because we have the date here so the date where the date is created and just say date right here So double curly braces, date, save, come here, and yeah, we have the date. Okay, now let's add the title, which is in this hedge one. In this, instead of this one, let's say double curly braces and title. Come here, yeah, we have the second post. Next, I'm going to add the image so let's say image with some classes and then the source of the image is going to be double curly braces and the thumbnail and we need to close this image and here is the image and after that after the image i'm going to say just a section with some classes a so class margin top of uh, six and double curly braces i'm going to say content here okay and here is the content 
just we need to add some uh, classes, not only the margin top of six, but I'm going to say pros, pros invert, and you can read more for that, but I'm going to leave it like this. So we have something like this here. We have the author, the, the date, the title, the image, and then the content right here. Okay. Now let's work with the taxonomies. So let's go to the control panel and we have taxonomies here. A taxonomy is a system of classifying data around a set of unique characteristics such as categories, tags, or colors, or topics, something like this. Let's go and create a taxonomy and I'm going to name it tags. Okay. Let's create a taxonomy and we can configure create a term or configure the blueprints if you want. So if we go to configure, we have the content model, which is tag and the collection. We have pages and posts. I'm going to add a collection of posts and uh, the template. Let's leave it for now as it is. I'm going to save this. Now, if I go to collections, go to posts collection and first post, now, as you can see here, we have also, and let's, me, let's zoom it, we have here tags. Okay, so we can add a tag right now, no option to choose, but if we want, we can create. So for example, let's say Laravel, hit enter, and yeah, I'm going to say live wire, hit enter, uh, Vue.js, hit enter, React, hit enter, and let's save and publish. Go back to first post again. Now we have the tags here. Let's go and choose a tag for this second post. Now, if I click here, immediately we have rendered the tags of these tags we have in our project. So let's say, for example, React for this one, the save, go to third one. And for this, I'm going to choose Vue.js. Or let's choose also Laravel here. Save. Go to taxonomies. We have tags. If I click, yeah, we have four tags here. Okay. Now let's display the tags in this uh, show handlers. And let me just go back here. So I'm going to display the tags right here. Where is the header? We have the thumbnail. After the thumbnail, I'm going to add a div with the class to be flex. And I'm going to say space uh, x to be true. Okay. And now let's. And here we need to make a for each because we have multiple tags for this uh, post. So double curly braces and say tags. Let's say spawn here with the class text to be small for now. And here I'm going to display the title of the tag. And let's close the tags. I'm going to save. And if I see, yeah, we have the React here. But let's say text small and on dark, the text is going to be a slate 200. So here it is the React. Or we can say on dark, the BG to be indigo. Four hundred and yes. Okay. Next, I'm going to go up here and just say margin top of two. And also down there, I'm going to say uh, around it, around it to BMD like this. I'm going to save and yeah. Next. Let's add a padding of two here. I think we are okay. Now here is the React. Let's go back. 
the blog and I think the first post has three tags or four here. Here we have now the tags. We can also make this as a, not as a spawn, but as an anchor tag. With shrev, we're going to point to the URL of the tag. If I save this, and yeah, this is a tag. If I click, we navigate the slash post tags and Laravel, but we have 404 page not found. We can go to index, select all, copy, because here we make a collection of posts. And here in the post directory, I'm going to create a new directory. I'm going to name it uh, tags. And in here, a new file. And I'm going to name it index.antlers.html. And I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to save. Okay, now let's go here. Go to tags. Got a single tag. And the template, I'm going to choose post tags index. I'm going to save and publish. So the author is this. The same thing for the this one. The same for this one. And the same for this one. Okay. Now if I come here and refresh, we have all the posts because we say here collection of posts. Instead of collection of posts, I'm going to say entries. Okay, and also we need to close down there by saying entries also here. I'm going to save and let's see. We have for the tag Laravel, we have two posts. Okay, let's go back and let's choose live wire. We have only one. Let's choose Vue.js. We have three, a uh, two, sorry. And if I choose React, we have two. If I come here and go to tags or go to a collection of posts and third post has Vue.js and Laravel, I'm going to choose and let's see again. Let's come here. We are in the React, so on the URL you can see tags React. A refresh, we have only two posts, but if I, which is the second and first post, but if I change now also the third post to have this tag, so the React tag, save and published, go here, and if I refresh, now we have also the third post. You can modify that to the uh, template, but for now I think we are okay. Just I wanted to show you how to work with taxonomies and display taxonomies on a single post. Also, when you click navigate to that route and create a new page inside the tags directory and display all the entries belong to that tag. Now that's it all about this video. If you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.